What's going on guys, it's your boy Neats with your Champions League roundup of the day. And two teams have made it through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Now for me, these ties were pretty much decided from the first leg. Atalanta 4-1 up against Valencia. The way they're going this season, I could not see them losing the game, let alone losing the whole tie. And Spurs 1-0 down from the home leg. leg. Injuries galore, having to go away to a, a Leipzig team who like to score goals. Very, very well drilled and quality in both defence and attack. Having to go there and win, having not won in five games prior, wasn't going to happen. And so it proved. Spurs utterly outclassed. And <clears throat> what I would say is Jose changed up a bit. In the first leg, he was very defensive. Um, and Spurs, it was only a penalty that brought them down the end. Partly due to Leipzig's profligate, um, profligacy in front of goal. Less Spurs uh, actual defending. There's a lot of debate about whether or not this is Jose's fault or not. Um, there's excuses after the first leg. There's excuses tonight. Uh, Lorries. And for me, Lorries should have saved the first goal. Um, Sabitza, well, he's got two. Should have saved the first one. Should have probably saved the second one. Beating on his near post. Both times weak with his right hand. Um, and in in the same build up to the second goal. Aurier misjudged. I mean this is Aurier all over. Misjudged the a long ball. Let Angelino in. And Sabitza came out the near post with a brilliant header. But Loris has got to be saving it. No you can't blame Mourinho for individual errors. But this is a one-off occurrence. As I said they haven't won in five games. Their form is very, very poor at the moment. Um, and yes, you can put it down to injuries, you can put it down to individual mistakes, but the manager has to take some blame. Same way if they won, the manager has to take some credit. You know, I'm never one for you know, completely giving blame or credit to one side or the other. It's a team effort, it's a combined effort. And I'm sure Jose himself accepts that he is partly responsible, um, if not at fault, for the loss. Leipzig are the better team, were the better team and deserve to go through 4-0 over the two legs. I would say it it uh, shows and it highlights how dominant they actually were because I think that's the minimum they deserve. A 4-0 um, aggregate score could have been more. Spurs didn't really create much and they're out. Last season's finalists, they're out, out of the um, FA Cup, out of the Champions League, struggling in the top four race. It's going to be a very difficult end to the season with all the injuries that they got piling up. Um, but now they only got one game a week. Maybe, maybe they have an outside chance of getting into the top four. But as far as the Champions League goes, deservedly they're out. In the other tie, Valencia I said they were 4-1 down. Playing behind closed doors against Atalanta. Um, Atalanta took the lead. And for me, that was it. Game over at that moment. Ill, um, Illicic from the penalty spot. Takes the lead. Uh, Valencia come back into it. And through Kevin Gamero actually gets two goals to lead 2-1. And Atalanta equalise 2-2. And then that's definitely game over. Because at that point they need to score f six. Yes, they would need to win by four goals at that stage because of the two away goals. Um, then they go 3-2 up through uh, Ferra Torres. And Ilicic gets his hat-trick and then his fourth to win the game 4-3. 8-4 on aggregate. 8-4. What a tie. What a tie. 8-4. And it's such a shame that the fans weren't able to actually witness it because of, we know, the, um, the, the issues that's going on in the footballing world regarding this coronavirus. But Atalanta in their first Champions League campaign through... Leipzig in their first knockout um, Champions League stage through. Both will put, cause problems for teams into the next round. They may want each other as a tie in the next round, but whoever they play with the attacking um, players and quality that both teams possess, they'll be a threat to anyone. Guys, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.